What is up guys, Adam here from The Beard Solution, back with another post-minoxidil journey update. It has been four months now since I've stopped using minoxidil, so I'm gonna run you through what's been going on. Also, I've got a few questions from you guys. So without further ado, let's get into this month's update. All these rappers faking, I tell them tuck your chain in, cause where my youngest came in, I swear they had him skating. So guys, it is four months now since stopping minoxidil and I'm going to be completely honest with you, I do not miss applying that shit to my face at all. I am very, very content with not applying anything apart from a bit of balm here and there. Uh, that being said, I do not regret the minoxidil journey whatsoever because I got a beard out of it. Now I did say when I actually stopped using minoxidil uh, that I'd barely been using it for the last two months of my journey, maybe around about five times in that whole two months, which is one of the reasons why I decided to stop, just because I couldn't maintain any semblance of consistency. So. After stopping, I did say I was expecting to lose some vellus and transitional hairs because they are the ones that are most likely to fall out once you stop using minoxidil. Doesn't mean that they will all fall out, uh, but you might lose some of them, okay? And that's completely normal. And so uh, I do think maybe I have lost a little bit of density on my right cheek, but I have trimmed my beard down as well. So perhaps I'm just being a little bit paranoid. I'm gonna show you my photos in a second, comparing from when I stopped to now, uh, and you can give me your own opinion. Uh, but as you will have seen, I have trimmed down, so take that into consideration as well. Uh, and the main reason I trimmed down is I kind of got fed up with how long it was. It was kind of really wavy. It was hard to keep looking, you know, nice so i couldn't be bothered to go and get it trimmed at the barbers so i just trimmed it down myself and i actually kind of prefer it a bit shorter as do other people who have said to me it looks better this way and i agree so yeah um i'm going to show you those photos now yo i done six shows in a row so my voice is hurting fans want to hear what you're in person boy oi. she want a man from brum but she settled with a boy from burton i still see feds on a block still see the boy them lurking he thinks i'm a poisonous person inside the boyfriend's burning there's too many keyboard warriors behind the screen you're anonymous And there's far too many MCs in a game that just want fame They spent peas on followers, bruv it's crazy, guns ain't wavy I've got a gift, that's what God gave me What, you don't rate me? Cause I ain't got a blue tick But I got one on the top and that gave me I lost it. They must have lost it. I thought I lost it. I must have lost it. Do it till I'm. So guys, there were quite a few themes that you wanted me to cover in this video. Unfortunately, just for time reasons, I'm not gonna be able to cover all of them, but I'm gonna touch upon two of the main ones, uh, and then any others, I'll either go back to respond to you directly, or I'll involve them in another video, or include them in another video, should I say. Uh, so the two that I'm gonna to talk to you about is uh, shedding, post minoxidil, what to expect, uh, and secondly, I'm gonna to talk to you about unwanted hair growth and what happens when you stop using minoxidil. So in terms of what to expect when you stop using minoxidil in regards to shedding from your beard, yes, you're gonna experience some shedding and in fact you might actually experience more shedding than usual now this doesn't necessarily denote lost gains and i'll explain why in a moment uh, but yes we are we are mammals at the end of the day uh, we actually shed uh, all year round like most mammals do and we also have seasonal shedding we tend to shed more hair in the summer like cats and dogs do uh, now it might seem odd to some people but it's a scientific fact so uh, the hair is grown in what's known as the hair cycle so you have anagen uh, you have uh, catagen and you have telogen and there's also exogen uh, which is where the hair actually sheds uh, but the telogen phase is where it's resting and so when a new anagen phase hair comes through it'll push an old telogen uh, hair out I actually have a whole video covering the hair cycle so I'm not going to go into much more detail than that uh, but what I will say is that minoxidil the way it works is it prolongs the anagen phase right so once you stop using minoxidil your body may react to the fact that it's not having this drug that's forcing the hair to grow for a longer period of time and may actually decide well now that hair needs to go into a telogen phase so you might experience some shedding now obviously you're going to have to probably wait another four or five months after you've experienced some of that shedding to know whether that was just normal shedding or lost gains and this is often where people panic and jump back onto minoxidil rather than persevering with stopping so uh, you know even if i like now, for example, we'll start experiencing some shedding. Uh, I've had a little bit of shedding here and there. Uh, I don't worry at all about any of the terminal hairs. I do shed a slight tear when I see a, a vellus hair that sheds. Uh, but other than that, honestly, you know, wait a few months after you've had the shedding, you'll be able to tell whether the, uh, your facial hair has really changed that drastically or whether it is recovered. Uh, but you're always gonna shed hair, so I wouldn't worry about it too much. In terms of like a huge shedding period, you could have that. I haven't had it so far post minoxidil, but you could in theory because of, as I said, minoxidil lengthening that angin state uh, and then all of a sudden not having that uh, drug that's forcing that angin state to remain longer uh, might cause some shedding, but that doesn't necessarily, as I say, mean hair loss. So bear that in mind. Uh, the next thing, and hopefully I have covered that. If I haven't, 
please do pop another comment in the comment section. I'll try and explain a little bit more uh, rather than going off the top of my head here as I am at the moment. Um, the next thing was unwanted hair growth, okay? So I personally found that when I switched to foam, I saw a lot less unwanted hair growth. That's because it's absorbed uh, less systemically than liquid is. Uh, now, people who use minoxidil on the scalp don't tend to get this side effect very often uh, because the skin on the scalp is much thicker, so less minoxidil tends to get absorbed. Uh, whereas on the face, obviously, it's much more absorbent uh, and therefore you are more likely to get some of those systemic gains, uh, which you don't necessarily want. So some of the extra hair around here or on your eyebrows or on your hands or whatnot. Generally, I saw mine reduce significantly when using foam. And since I've stopped using minoxidil, honestly, you can't really recall ever seeing any extra hair and being like, oh, that's extra hair. Uh, so I personally think most of it has fallen out by now, to be honest. I've still got a few hairs up higher on the cheekbones, but to be honest with you, that's completely normal for naturally bearded men as well as monoxidal bearded men. Uh, so I wouldn't worry about it too much. And mine only really show up when I take a photo with the flash. Plus, no one's ever going to be looking at my face that, you know, closely. So I don't worry too much anymore. Uh, but I, I understand and I appreciate uh, and empathise with those who are just experiencing it for the first time because it can be quite worrisome. There's only one case I've ever seen which was just really bad. Uh, this person had extreme hypertrichosis from using minoxidil and I told them to stop and they wouldn't fucking listen to me. I don't know whether they're still using now. This was quite a long time ago. Um, but he literally had hair like all over his face uh, and he, he literally looked like a werewolf and he refused to trim it down. I literally could not fathom why he stayed using minoxidil. I literally, me, one of the biggest advocates of minoxidil was like, stop fucking using it, okay? But guys, hopefully um, you've enjoyed this video. You've seen, you know, you've, you know, seen uh, a few helpful tips or hints or a bit more information that you didn't know before that you now you do. So uh, if you did like the video, obviously I'd appreciate it if you'd hit the like button. Uh, please do comment any further questions you may have below. And also if you want me to clarify some of the points I've talked about in these themes, then again, feel free to comment in the comments section. Thanks very much for watching, guys, uh, and I will see you again next time. You don't rate me because I ain't got a blue tick, but I got one on the top that gave me. I don't even know.